Hey guys, Caveman Mining here. I hope everyone is well and having a good day. I just want to say I am back from vacation and holy look at all this snow. Damn, I should have stayed on the beach. Yeah, it's a little bit nippy outside, but inside the Caveman Garage, just outside the frigid cold, it is a comfortable 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Didn't come here today to talk too much about my vacation, but I am back and I wanna get some content rolling for you guys. Today's video, we are going to do a how-to, and that's gonna be how to mine and dual mine a lefium. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump upstairs into the laptop, we'll do a how-to. All right guys, so we're in the laptop here, and on today's video, it's going to be straight to the point and a quick snippet on how to mine and actually how to dual mine a lefium. So lefium is a coin that's been around for quite a few weeks here. I'm playing a little bit of catch up so I did want to share with my viewers and my audience uh, who haven't seen uh, a ways to mine this coin but I know a bunch of miners have done some videos out there. Serp Serpent X, uh, Seb's Fintech, uh, and a few other guys out there. So kudos to them, kudos to all the other miners that I failed to mention who have covered this. So I figured I would share this with my community. So uh, here is the landing page to Alephium and uh, it is what they're calling their blockchain version 3.0. There is a documentations uh, starting guide. It is a quite extensive uh, it has quite extensive uh, material to go over and this is really in terms of if you wanted to solo mine that is not the point of what we wanted to do but if you're interested to do that uh, there is some uh, coverage on this page on how to set that up set up your wallet set up the miner etc uh, and this is kind of more geared towards the geeks the people that like to do more of the coding command prompt powershell etc so go ahead and check that out if you are interested to learn how to solo mine for today's exercise we are going to do some uh, pool mining and we're actually going to use uh, we're going to use HeroMiners.com for our uh, pool, uh, and that right now has 66.7% of all of the known hash rate on that pool. So we'll check that out. Looking at Alephium, the value-wise, this is 40 cents. Now, while I was on vacation and all the other miners were covering this, you can see it reached one probably about a dollar and 40 cents ish or close to that mark around the 17th of january so there was a point in time where man this thing was was quite profitable to mine it's not bad in the sense of value in terms of 40 cents but uh, i'm not giving financial advice this video is just merely a how to so jumping into it, right, we have uh, on our laptop here an RTX 2070 Max-Q. It is not the most powerful of graphics cards. I know a lot of people who tout uh, dual mining, Alephium and Ethereum are, are really more gear, gearing that towards uh, LHR cards to maximize your profitability with the LHR cards and they're doing what they call a technical 100% unlock. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to use my LHR card. Maybe we'll come back in another video and take a look at that. Uh, but I just wanted to share with you guys a few items. One is I will send a link, but this is the GUI uh, wallet for Alephium. So the latest version is one point uh 1.1.0 and you can go ahead if you have a windows machine download the executable and what that will essentially then in turn do is give you the wallet gui software so we're going to go ahead and log into that right now give me just a second so if i can remember the password that we used and of course that's not working and there we go okay fat fingered it there for a second. So we have our address, we copied the address. You can also pull up the uh, block explorer with your address to check out any transactions and things of that nature. But for this, we will go ahead and copy the address. We're gonna go ahead and go back over to our um, mining pool, which is uh, Hero Miners. 
And what you want to do for a lefium is go to the start button and that will then bring you the breakdown of all of your various servers depending upon where your mining location is best and the ports that you want to use there are three different miners in the offering here for hero miners srb miner t-rex miner and bz miner the the real difference in these is you have srb miner is for amd cards uh, Windows and Linux, T-Rex obviously for NVIDIA, Windows and Linux, and BZ Miner does them both. For the sake of this video, we went ahead and already extracted. We're using BZ Miner version 7.2.5 plus. So we have our files here. And essentially what we're looking for is the dual mine underscore, a uh, dual underscore mine dot bat. If we edit that, we can go ahead and choose the algorithm combinations that we want to mine. So again, we're doing Ethereum and Alephium. You can do Ethereum and Raven with this and Ethereum plus uh, OL, which uh, actually I don't know what that is. So uh, I'll have to Google that after the video. So that's interesting. We'll take a look at that. But what you want to do in the sense of if you have uh, an NVIDIA card, you can go ahead and use T-Rex or you can go ahead and use this BZ miner. Uh, go ahead and uh, choose your Ethereum pool. For us, we are using ethermine.org and you can see it's pre-populated already for the US1 server in the port. We have our Ethereum address plugged in here after the dash W space. And then if you keep scrolling to the right, you will see another wallet address here after the dash dash W2 after the ALF algorithm. That is our uh, Alephium uh, wallet address. And then after that, you'll see the Stratum server plus TCP. And then we have our Hero Miners pool plugged in here and just simply save it. So based upon you know what type of pools you're using you'll go ahead and plug that information into this batch file and then simply all you do is you double click and run that so it's it's fairly simple and then what will happen is the miner will come up here and you'll start to see two different algorithms here you'll see your card for us i haven't really tampered with this in terms of hash rate uh, i believe if we open up msi afterburner we have like a high clock, which what we would normally use for Ethereum uh, on this. So uh, uh, yeah, go ahead and, and just play with that. I am not suggesting any clocks. I actually don't have my fan on full blast, which I normally do just so you can hear this recording without the fan being in the background. So you can see we, we have here efficiency of 153 kilohash per watt with ethereum on ethermine and that's pulling a 12.40 mega hash and it's bouncing as you can see here it just dropped down to 6.12 and then uh, for alephium we've got 467 mega hash and uh no 634 mega hash and then 400 at the pool so that seems to be uh, interesting there I'm not going to do any calculations in terms of what this would make for profitability. We'll save that for another video because what I would like to do beyond this how to is actually test this out on an LHR card and then get into the nitty gritty of profitability. But um, if we go back in the history here of some of the hashes, because we had this running for a little while, you can see we're sitting around the 600 mega hash and 12, uh, 12 and a half ish mega hash on Ethereum seems to be a pretty constant there. So interesting. I would ask you guys uh, in the comments below, please, uh, you know, educate me as well. Uh, if there are, you know, some of you in my community that have done this before, let me know what overclocks I should try. Should I try T-Rex Miner? Is there something better than the BZ Miner? Again, this is just strictly for those who want to learn how to mine. Alephium and those who would be interested to dual mine Alephium. So we'll uh, keep digging here. We'll keep going down the rabbit hole. 
I'll do a little bit more research to see if this is profitable from what I hear from some of the other folks in the community at this point in time is maybe not I've seen a few people switch back to Ethereum uh, and actually uh, a few other algorithms. So yeah, guys, I hope this was helpful. I will leave all of the content uh, documentation from uh, the wallet to the miner, all of that information in the description below. That way you guys can give this a try and maybe experiment and hopefully you learn something. Uh, I also want to give a plug here. Uh, I hope you guys will come back to my next videos because I have some really exciting news uh, in the crypto space. Myself and a team have assembled to create some NFTs. We have a few cool projects coming up. The first one is going to be of an Apple. So I'll put a little icon on the screen there so you guys can kind of get a glimpse of that so i'll tease it here but uh stay tuned for more information for our discord that construction is underway we have a website coming and a few other cool things as well i also want to give a quick plug to our friends over at crypti.co for uh your selection in terms of crypto merchandise hoodies backpacks thermoses all the above you name it, they've got it. Go check out a few of our different collections up there. And for my particular collection, use Caveman10 to get your discount code and some money off. And with that, guys, I will leave you with a uh, thank you for you know staying with me along this journey. Hope to see you on the next video. Have a good night.